Hi everyone, I'm Crescencia Felty. For almost 10 years now, I've been battling with ulcerative colitis. It's a stomach disease that causes chronic inflammation of the colon. Once I was diagnosed, I developed several other health problems such as arthritis, anemia, and kidney failure. I used to end up in the hospital every month for my health, and no one ever asked me what I was eating. When I was 15 years old, they told me that I would never make it to C21. Now, I eat healthier, I exercise, I think positive, I stop drinking alcohol, and I stop going to the hospital. With education and determination, I'm curing my stomach disease. I'm 23 years old and I'm healthier than I've ever been. I did it and so can you. Join me on this journey to a healthier you. Welcome to A Healthier You. My name is Crescencia Felty with Frequency TV. Today we're going to talk about food education. Your performance in school, your energy level, your ability to think clearly, and your physical appearance all are affected by what we eat. College is a time of change and choice. We're here at Columbia to create change, so why not start with ourselves? We move away from home and have to make important decisions like health and nutrition, but we get busy and the last thing we tend to think about is what we eat. Eating healthy is challenging for a cash-strapped, busy student. Trust me, I know, but it is possible with a few simple rules. I've been in practice 16 years, and what I know without a doubt is that what a person does when they're young, whether it's as a child or as a teenager, or maybe even more importantly, as a young, you know, as a college age adult, translates into health the rest of your life. And most of us tend to eat pretty well when we're children, even maybe teenagers, but when we go to college, it's like falling off a cliff. Um, it's challenging and, and we tend to eat poorly. But if I had $5 for every time I saw somebody whose health problems started in college or shortly thereafter, I would be able to take a vacation based just on that alone. First thing about food education is food. We need to avoid processed foods. And by processed food, I mean junk food, fast food, frozen meals, and most foods in a can or box. Processed foods are foods that are made um, or manufactured um, really for convenience sake. The problem with processed foods is that they tend to be low in nutrients, high in calories, and also high in manufacturing processing that, that ends up causing them to turn to sugar more rapidly. We need to start thinking outside the box. Our diet should contain ingredients such as fruits, vegetables, lean meats, seeds, and nuts. Many of us would say, well, rice is good for you, right? Or whole grain bread. Um, things like oatmeal, we, we tend to think that these are healthy things, they're high in fiber, they're good for you, um, but they're not. At the end of the day, most of the time the type of diet that I recommend is one that's low carbohydrates, reasonable proteins, um, lots of plants, um, nuts and seeds, things like that. So really a balanced diet, the sort of diet that a person can maintain lifelong. You can learn all about processed foods on our website. You can also print out this list of foods to eat and what foods to avoid. It helps me decide what to have for dinner and what to buy at the grocery store. We just covered what you should be eating, so now let's talk about when you should be eating. Everyone should be eating every three hours. It takes your body three hours to digest food, so think of your body as a car. Your car can't run on empty, and neither can your body. Think of food as fuel. Eating this way will keep your metabolism stable throughout the day, giving you peak energy. Trust me, it works. Just like a car you know, runs low on fuel, um, a body can run low on fuel too, and you're, not, you're gonna feel the effect of that. You're gonna feel fatigue. You're not gonna be you know, on your game, but certainly not your best game if you haven't been snacking throughout the day. I like the analogy with a car too, but what I, what I usually would say is that a person takes better car, care of their cars than they do themselves. People take it in for maintenance, they take it for an oil change. Uh, most people take better care of their cars than what they do themselves. Next is preparation. You need to plan when you're going to eat. Now I know we all have busy and hectic schedules, but everything is possible with faith and a little effort. You should wake up and plan your meals for the entire day. The goal is to find consistency in your life and in our everyday schedules. For example, if you wake up at 8 and have breakfast at 9, then plan to eat at 12, 3, 6, and again at 9 before bed. Not eating after 7 p.m. is a myth. 
Many of us have been led to believe that you shouldn't eat after 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. or at least not eat within two or three or four hours of going to sleep. It doesn't make any difference. Calories are calories. And it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. Perhaps the reason why we've gotten this sort of, uh, you know, this, this myth that has been perpetuated, it may be that it's because people who tend to eat after dinner are eating way more than what they should anyway. Each meal should contain protein and carbs and be no bigger than your fist. These five to six fist-sized portions will shrink your stomach and keep you satisfied all day long. Diet is absolutely the single most important issue. The types of foods you eat literally change how your DNA works, how your genes function, and ultimately uh, what type of physiology you're going to have. Uh, foods can either prevent disease or foods can contribute to disease. And if a healthy way of eating um, is not maintained, then the average person tends to gain weight. And obviously, I think at this point, what is it, 60% of Americans are overweight. Um, it's, it is a, a national disaster at the moment, and it needs to be changed. Here's something to get started. Write down everything you eat for a week. Remember, if you don't know what you're eating, how can you change it? Notice the processed foods you eat your portion sizes, and when you're eating. Remember, you are what you eat, and change starts now. Email me at crescenciacfelty at yahoo.com of what you have logged, and I can show you what you can do towards a healthier you. And feel free to reach out to me with any questions. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time on A Healthier You.